the budgets that much harder when the economy is lashing from the outside and political forces bash from within. How much harder? $82 billion. That's the deficit blowout the Treasurer is dealing with, from forces he never saw coming and from spending he's unleashing against them. Deficits stretch out end on end. $35 billion next year, 25 the next, 14 and then 7. So is debt. Net debt peaks at 18% of GDP in two years or $313 billion. Still, the budget assumes the worst is behind it. Economic growth supposed to pick up next year and continue in the years beyond. A surplus is projected in five years. Look at the glass half full. Look at the glass half full. With that in mind, Joe Hockey's making almost $10 billion worth of new tax and spending decisions in this budget. The biggest that hasn't already been announced is for jobs and small business. We have that capacity as well in Australia. We've just got to give people a chance. And that's exactly what we are doing. There's two million out, of, out there that want to have a go, but they've been constrained. We're unleashing the opportunity. It's worth $5.5 billion, most of it in tax relief. From tonight and for two years, all small businesses can get tax deductions on any equipment, cars or assets they buy. The current limit's $1,000. It's being raised to $20,000. Total cost, just under $2 billion. Delivering on the promise to cut corporate tax for small companies, turning over less than $2 million, is worth almost $1.5 billion. Those that aren't incorporated get a general tax discount, up to $1,000 a year. Small business. Yep, small business. We're trying to fire up small business. He wants businesses to start up and spend up immediately and hire staff soon. For those under 25 who can't get jobs, last year's much condemned six month wait for the dole will be shortened to just four weeks. That's part of a $330 million youth employment package with extra schemes to train, counsel, place and support them in jobs. What are you carrying on the train? The $3.5 billion childcare package is as announced and the cut to paid parental leave for those who also so get it from their employer will save almost a billion dollars. Nor does the budget bring any new changes for pensioners beyond what was announced a week ago. New drug listings will be funded through the Pharmaceutical Benefits Scheme at around $400 million a year or $1.5 billion. The budget conditions have changed dramatically, but the government's nation-building agenda hasn't. There's now a $5 billion Northern Australia Infrastructure Fund. $800 million is going into it for ports, rail lines and electrical wires. There's a catch though. $325 million will be clawed back from workers in the north who get zonal tax breaks for fly-in or drive-in jobs. Some farmers could be better off. They're being offered quicker tax breaks for spending on fences, water tanks and assets. Pushing back against Islamic State comes at a cost, $750 million for defence operations. That's just one part of a whopping $1.2 billion on national security, including almost $300 million to improve spy technology and $130 million to phone and internet companies to store all that extra metadata they're now required to. On the savings side, multinational companies will be hit for tax, so will backpackers, foreigners wanting visas, those whose salary sacrifice for lunches and dinners, or who make work-related car deductions. Thanks, guys. Go. It's been a bruising year and this budget accounts for each blow in the billions. The blocked and abandoned bills in the Senate, the reworked and relaunched packages rolled out since the Prime Minister's near-death experience in February. As the Treasurer put it, he believes the nation's best days are ahead of it and presumably the budget's worst behind him.